Instagram here is Express. So I wanted to talk to you guys about my hair. I have been getting a lot of questions about this particular hair, this particular unit that I have been rocking and I absolutely love it. I mentioned it in a previous video that this is some hair that I got from an AliExpress store called Honey Queen Hair. Yes, it's Honey Queen Hair, so I'll have the information for you below in the info box. Um, the exact store, the style of the hair and all that. I believe I got the um, Brazilian Body Wave hair and I um, got a matching lace closure and what I did was I just went ahead and made a lace front unit using a stretch dome cap. I also mentioned the type of dome cap that I love to use in a previous video. So if you guys want to see that previous video, I believe in that video I at least show you you how I typically do uh, full units whether it's lace frontal or a lace front but I believe it's just like a lace front or a lace closure kind of unit and I just point out what um, type of dome cap that I typically like to use and um, yeah I'll link it for you guys below um, this hair has actually been uh, sort of wand curl to create these kind of waves and curls that um, I love and these curls are days and days old. I typically like wind it up on a Sunday and just wear it throughout the week and just let the, the curls drop and fall as they may. I typically also wear my unit in the center but I decided to show you a little bit more options of wearing it to the side so I shifted my wig to the sides give you a little sexy side part action just to show how versatile it is. Um, the hair wasn't expensive well, expensive is, is very subjective. It didn't cost me a whole lot of money. If anyone has ever like shopped for hair on AliExpress, you notice that one of their big uh, draws to their site is that their prices are typically very low for the type of products that they sell, namely extension hair. So for the hair that I have, the type of hair and the actual quality of the hair because I love this hair it was very very inexpensive for me this is not the first time that I've purchased hair from Honey Queen hair I have purchased hair from Honey Queen hair several times before either for myself or for my clients I definitely recommended my clients to this uh, particular vendor if they're looking for something that's a little bit more budget friendly and that um, is going to give them some kind of longevity for some kind of investment for their money um, as far as quality hair and all that so I definitely go ahead and you know point them in that direction there are a couple of other vendors that I deal with on AliExpress but Honey Queen is probably the most um, most visited and most uh, shopped at vendor on AliExpress at this point that I personally go to on a regular basis so um, yeah I think that's just about all I need to tell you guys about the hair. I just began a lot of questions about it and I wanted to make like a quick video about that. Um, also at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how my braid pattern is under this unit. I sometimes go with a stocking cap, sometimes with I'm growing my hair out and really, really trying to restore and take care of my natural hair. It has grown out a lot and that's because I have so much access, so much more access to my hair to actually do things like shampoo it and um, deeply condition it, deeply moisturize it, uh, take care of the ends by trimming it whenever necessary, stimulating my scalp, especially the the temples and the edges and all that stuff and I need to have like ready access to it to do it a couple of times a week at the very least two times a week so uh, my braiding pattern is typically braids to the back and sometimes it's bigger braids, sometimes it's smaller braids, it just depends. But for the most part, it's whatever I feel like doing because <laughs> I do it on myself. So I try not to do any braid pattern that's going to be extremely intricate and time consuming because I know it's not going to be in my hair you know, for more than like three, four days at a time. So if you guys want to see the units and the options, go ahead and stand by for the rest of the video. And yeah. Okay, you guys, you see my little corn rolls to the back. These cornrows are a lot smaller than I usually do it. I like to do like a strong eight to the back, but my hair is growing more and more, so I want to play and see how small I can get the braids. The unit has two adjustable straps that I have in there, and that's just for extra support. That's just my personal preference. It's not really necessary. It just gets it nice and really, really snug. As you can see, I popped it right on my head, honey. I barely showed you how I did it. <laughs> Um, now I'm just adjusting it a little bit and just playing with it. This is how it looks when I 
rocking in the center. This is how I made it. It's for a center part, but I started playing with it a little bit and obviously wore it to the side, like you guys saw at the beginning of this video. Now, this is a closer look at the hairline. I did kind of customize the hairline, and the only one regret that I have is that I overplucked or really plucked out all of the baby hairs, and I should have kept some baby hairs to kind of help me with that, you know, camouflage action, you know, camouflage. So now I'm tilting it to the side and I'm just kind of combing out the very little baby hairs that I have. I don't have long baby hairs because, honey, I'm an adult. I'm grown as hell. <laughs> no shade, but yeah, just a little bit of baby hair. It's not too much um, edges out or anything because I like to keep it almost completely wigg wigglicious, at least for this unit. So just kind of blending everything together. And like I said, if I had the baby hairs, if I didn't over pluck them all the way out, it would be a lot easier um, working with. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I'll probably go back into this unit and ventilate some um, baby hairs and add some later just to kind of customize it even more so. But this unit is working with me, honey. It is giving me everything that I require. All the life that I asked for, my lifeline, I am living. I hope you guys are too. But uh, yeah, this is a unit. So I'm just playing with it a little bit. Love the curls, love the waves. These curls are so old, girls, not even funny. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, you guys, so that is it. Listen, it doesn't matter if I have this wig on or my new unit that I made from Love Me Hair, the straight unit with the bob cut. I'm going to be showing you guys that or any unit, any unit that is typically how I like to do my units. I like to add the straps to it because it just gives me a little bit more security it sticks to my head nice and snug um and i think that's pretty cool sometimes i might variate by adding like combs in it and the combs is just going to help like make it more secure that's just something that um i can do with or without and i probably would do a comb i probably would add combs to the unit if i plan on doing things like you know pulling it up in a high ponytail or doing a whole bunch of manipulation where it's going to be like up and away from my head but aside from that if, my, if I'm pretty much going to wear it like down the elastic bands are perfect for that okay so um yeah that's it if you guys have any more questions about this hair or any future hair go ahead and leave your comment below make sure that you guys hit me up on Instagram as well hit me up if you have any questions that is yes just Chrissy Facebook Makeup by Miss Chris or Miss Chris MUA. Make sure you guys are following me on those social media outlets. And if I have any other places where you can reach me, I'll go ahead and put it down below. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.